Hi, this is Mass Rundown. If you enjoy movie reviews and trailer reactions, you're in the right place. Why not subscribe and hit the like button down below. Today we're going to be reviewing The Quiet Place Part 2. A Quiet Place Part 2 is a 2021 horror film and the sequel to the 2018 film A Quiet Place. Directed by John Krasinski, it stars Emily Blunt as Evelyn, Melissa Simmons as Regan, Noah Jupe as Marcus, and Cillian Murphy as Emmett. A Quiet Place Part 2 directly follows the events of Part 1 and sees Evelyn and her children trying to survive in a post-apocalyptic world. Hunted by sightless monsters and other threats, they need to find their place in this new world. So let's look at the good. First off, we get actual backstory as what happened at day one when the monsters first appeared. And the movie starts off straight away, like it's intense from almost from the word go. It was really nice to see the backstory, even though it wasn't necessary. Yes. And I think they didn't chicken out with the backstory or anything like that, because sometimes, you know, these movies give you such a ridiculous backstory. Yeah. Or you sometimes feel like, you know, you could have just left it. I think this was nice and it made sense. It did. And I think it was also really important because it introduces us to other characters that become important later. The movie is really like a straight continuation from part one, though. We basically pick up straight after the end scene and then we see how they progress from there so as much as the first story was very complete and it felt like it could have ended there it actually turned out to be a good kickoff place for this movie saying that you do kind of need to watch part one before you watch part two because it is such a continuation and if you're watching this before you've even seen part one then you're going to get some spoilers yeah and I think a lot of the emotional elements of the movie and a lot of the impact might actually be lost if you miss out on part one. Yeah, I think this is an awesome two-part movie series. Yes. At this point, maybe it could be more later. Yeah. But I could see myself watching part one and part two straight away. It was so cool. I feel like watching part one again. Yes. And obviously from that, you know, it's easy to tell I really liked it. It was thrilling. I was at the edge of my seat quite a lot. And there were a couple of jump scares where I actually did literally jump. Yeah. <laughs> so it was really awesome. And the movie does a great job of creating a tense atmosphere. I mean, you make any sound and you're going to attract these monsters. So everything, even the normal stuff, like just taking a walk. And this is the same as the first one. It becomes so tense. And they manage to keep this tense atmosphere throughout the whole movie. And it's so effective. So they make the simplest things scary. And I think what added to that scariness was the music. Yeah. Because a lot of the film is actually quite silent. So you need this amazing score and this amazing music to keep the audience interested. And they did that so well. The music is perfect. It's creepy in the right places. It's really well scored, I suppose. Yeah. There's a point in the movie where they split up and... They start to draw parallels between the two groups that we follow. And even simple stuff like the one struggling for breath and then the other one struggling for breath at the same time. And everything escalates and resolves in quite a parallel. And it's very interesting to see and it's very well done. I quite enjoyed that element of the film. Yeah, I thought it was interesting to see how both parties managed to overcome similar issues that they came across. Yeah. And saying that, I think it is largely because the acting was so amazing. Every single person they cast, even the side characters, did a really, really good job. Yes. Every now and then we switch to the perspective of Regan. We switch perspectives throughout, but it's really apparent when we're in Regan's perspective, because she's deaf. And navigating this post-apocalyptic world where you're not allowed to make sounds, as someone who's deaf, it just very effective in bringing how much of a challenge that is for her and it was done well and those teams were quite uh suspenseful suspenseful yeah they were intense especially because she can't hear anything and the only way you know when the monsters are afoot or the people or whatever is afoot is through sounds so there can be a monster right next to her and she wouldn't know it because she literally can't hear anything and speaking of the monsters they were amazing 
they didn't focus too much on the monsters, but when you did see them, you saw them full on. The graphics were awesome. The concept, I think, of these monsters are particularly great. Looking at the bad, there is none. I really wouldn't change anything about the movie. In my opinion, it was pretty perfect. Yeah, it's very difficult to give any bads when, like you're saying, there's nothing would change and there was nothing I disliked. Yeah. So obviously that means that I gave it a 10. And I'm giving it a 10 as well. So that's our first 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah. I think essentially this movie is just a really good big screen movie. And if you can't watch the big screen, that's okay. But if you can, I would definitely suggest doing so. And I think people who'd enjoy this movie, if you enjoyed the first one, I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy this one. If you enjoy horrors and thrillers, I think you'd enjoy it as well. And even if you don't, I think just give it a shot because it's really that good. Yeah. So let us know in the comments down below if you've seen the movie. Do you want a quiet place part three? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Later. Later.